Hey everybody, it is Andrew here from iDownloadBlog. Today we are going to take a look at a really cool new application called Cider TV. It allows you to control your Apple TV from your phone, but it also allows you to control it from your phone without ever having to actually log into your phone because you can control it completely from Notification Center. This app is not unlike Apple's official remote application for the Apple TV. This app is free to download, but they do offer in-app purchases. So all we're going to do is add or register our Apple TV to the application itself by hitting that plus button in the top right hand corner. We're then going to get a pairing code. If it does not find your Apple TV automatically, you can not enter the IP address manually, but I did not have any issues, it found it right away. Once you have that pairing code, you're going to go to your Apple TV, go to settings, remote and devices and then down to remote app from here you should see the cider tv app which is now have requested pairing i'm going to hit cider tv and enter that pairing code which should be unique each time with that you should be good to go that remote will now control your apple tv the interface is pretty neat as well, so if we look, and I know you cannot read these at all, but on the bottom it allows you to control the volume, so if you have a TV paired or linked to the Apple TV, you can control that volume as well. You can tap and hold on the center part to go back a screen or tap to select, and then in the top right hand corner is the options button, though there's not much there you need to worry about. There are different gestures that you could use in the application, like tapping and holding in the center to trigger a back command that'll essentially take place of the menu button which would normally take you back a screen. You can swipe left and right to fast forward or rewind, or if you pause, you can use that to slow-mo rewind or fast forward. In the bottom left hand corner is the play pause button that you can use when playing back media. And in the bottom right hand corner, which is really handy, is the keyboard allowing you to send text to your Apple TV. So obviously dictation is great on the fourth gen, uh, but even typing it on your keyboard, on your phone, is even easier. You can add more than one Apple TV. However, if you do, you will be prompted for an in-app purchase. To add an additional Apple TV, it is $3.99, or you can unlock the app completely with unlimited Apple TVs for $9.99. Now aside from just being able to control your Apple TV, which is pretty par for the course, you can do that with Apple's Apple TV app. What's really neat is the fact that you can add this to Notification Center. So if I go to Notification Center, edit on the bottom, and I choose Cider TV, I'm going to pull this to the top so it's easy to find. We can now actually control our Apple TV from Notification Center, which means we don't even need to unlock our phones to get to Notification Center and control the Apple TV. So this is really handy. It gives you the forward D-pad there as well as an OK button in the center and below that a menu and a play pause button. Now if you'll notice to the right of the play pause button there's a tiny little up carrot. That will actually allow you to compress this menu. So if we unlock this and pull it open again, if we tap that carrot it'll actually completely compress that where you only have that pause and play button. So it's really handy to keep it nice and small and out of the way. And when you do need to do more control, you can open it up and have the full D-pad OK and menu buttons. I find this app to be really handy and it's definitely something I'm going to keep around, but I still prefer the Siri remote because it's the only thing that offers dictation and you know the voice control. And that's really a benefit over anything else out there. If you'd like, you can pick this up for free and of course there's a link below in the description. Please go ahead and subscribe. And until next time, this is Andrew for iDownloadBlog.